Okay, hello and happy new year. It's been a long, long time since I've done a video. So, I'm going to do a cutting video today of some soaps I made yesterday. One will be not that interesting because it's just another batch of White Witch. I really wish that from the beginning of time of me making soap that I'd counted how many batches I've made. This one is still the best seller in general catalogue um, soaps. So yeah, I just wish I'd counted because I don't know how many I've made in the time I've been making soap, but it's a lot. So it'd be interesting to know really. Anyway, I haven't ever counted, so... probably estimate but that's not the same so stocks of soaps and everything are really low you have to excuse the lighting in here today sorry about this it's just not that great okay so the first one is this fancy soap I made yesterday this one is a men's soap and I did like a grooves on the top of this one and it's all sort of blues and blacks and whites and like sea colours and it smells really fresh like um like a men's cologne or men's aftershave actually it's um yeah it's not cologne sort of a scent it's a like a modern day sort of a scent so it has like citrus so it starts off with like lemon and bergamot and grapefruit and then it has like really ozone notes and marine notes so it just is perfect for men I mean some women might like it as well but it's just lovely lovely scent although after making it it was such a strong scent I actually felt a bit sick I came out of the workshop to walk home and I was a bit, not walk home, I got in the car. I was a bit dizzy, but I smelled the fumes in a little bit too much. And it was a cold day yesterday, so I didn't keep the windows open. But each bar is going to be, see this one's really different. What I did was I got my mould and I poured just into the corner, like colour after colour after colour, so it made its way across the mould. And that's a bang it down a few times because towards the end it got thicker. And I did do a slight water discount, which was a real stupid thing to do. <laughs> but um, you can see the effect. So I poured like into this corner and just poured colour after colour after colour until it made its way across the mould. And I really like that. I think it's really cool. So this one, I was trying to um, stick to my inspiration. I've been watching some surf films. And there's a guy called Laird Hamilton, who you'll probably be aware of if you watch surfing. Um, he lives in Hawaii, and I've been watching Danny Way, Waiting for Lightning film, where he jumps the Great Wall of China. So, I'm looking at his Instagram, and he's like um, friends with Laird Hamilton, and they all have places in Hawaii. So I wanted to go for this fresh sort of surfy you know, manly sort of thing. <laughs> and the other one is White Witch, which is here, which is always the same. I don't ever change the design because I like it as it is. It's so simple. It's always been the same design. It's just white with a black line, like this, which if you've been following this channel for a while, you'll have seen this one countless times. So we have to make another batch of that because I just sold out at Christmas. So what I'm doing at the moment is just stocking up. My shelves are like so bare. I hardly have any stock, especially not jars. I've got lots of um, soaps on the go. I've got 10 batches. Some just went live on the website. Some new ones. And I've got a ton of fragrances to use up. So I'll be making some different designs and having a play around as well as working on the rest of the Valentine stock. So 
I've got lots happening at the moment, which is good. And it's nice to be busy for New Year, so I'm not really into Christmas too much. It sort of gets really stale towards the end of December. I just want to get into January and into spring and stuff. And I hate that lull that you get just after New Year. Oh, it's horrible. It's just a horrible feeling. I don't like it. So, let's get the other cutter. And we'll cut a few of these bars. I'm going to start with this one because I want to just see what it came out like inside. It should be pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. So it's kind of manly. It's a manly bar. Um, kind of surfy looking if you see what I mean. Not every bar will be like this. Each one will be different. So I'll chop this um, this one, which one uh, where each soap will be pretty much the same or similar at least. And then I'll go on and cut. Let's get these lined up. I'll go on and cut one of the other bars, like the other logs, because I'm going to see. Let me get all these lined up. I want to see, um, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Strange. Anyway, let's just forget it. That's it. I want to see what the design is in the rest, like where this won't be the same. I don't know if that's a far, it might be, have to be an MP. Okay, so we'll go one. The one in the middle. Sorry, I'm just rambling a bit. I want to see some different effects that we've got in there. See, that one is sort of like, um, this is really cool. It looks like wave, like a wave. And it's just where the soap is sort of moved and merged together. And that, I, I really like that. That's really cool. Now in Hawaii, they've got black sand. So I wanted to have black in there, obviously. And then the wave white and then like a teal. I used a teal mica and a blue vibrance mica from Nurture Soap Supply. So the colours have come out pretty cool. It's kind of different, like each one will have a completely different design. Which is cute. Let's go for this second one in. See what we got in this batch. Yeah, kind of like the same. So this one sort of where it's all coming down. Like that's kind of cool as well. I'm happy with them all actually. It smells really good. It is really aquatic, like a um, citrus and aquatic notes is what I'm getting from that. It's quite masculine and fresh, like really fresh smell. So it would be great for spring. Now let's take the first one I did. This is going to be kind of some strange things happening, I think. It's always interesting to see what you get. Like, it's still my favourite thing ever, is to cut the soap. <laughs> More than any other little job I have is soap cutting is still the best for me. It's still my favourite thing to do. Well, we may as well finish off and cut all of them then. So I've got some new things planned for this year. I'm doing a perfumery course, so I'm going to be getting really into that and doing some different things. And changing a few things when I've got all that sorted. So I've got to pass 
the first test first and then I move on to the second one. So I am studying when I go home, not so much in the evenings because I've been a bit tired lately. Getting straight back into work after Christmas is like, yeah, still tiring. Even though I had a break, it's like, it's still tiring. Um, so, mainly at weekends is when I'm spending time working on that. And it's so interesting. There's like, it's written really well, like the information that, oh wow, look at this, hold on a second. <laughs> so that's really cool. I like how many stripes we got in that one. Okay, so yeah, this perfumery course is just, yeah, the, it's keeping me really gripped because it's teaching me like all of the things where perfume began, who first wore it, and who could afford it, and who couldn't, and it's, it's kind of just really interesting to know how it's evolved into what it has because I mean now perfumery is ridiculous you can get perfume anywhere and it's accessible to pretty much everybody um, whereas in the beginning it wasn't so because people couldn't afford it you know so we're just going to cut a bar of white witch so yeah I'm just absolutely over the moon with the course that I'm doing it's just Brilliant, it's just keeping me so gripped and so interested. Which is rare for me to stay gripped on anything sometimes, you know. I've been the same, I've been going to the gym again, and um, for a while there before Christmas, I just could not get into it. I was like losing all my passion to do it and. I didn't have the energy to go. I was so busy at work that it just suffered. I could not, I just couldn't go. I couldn't get myself together to go to the gym before Christmas. I just had too much work on. And when you're busy and, you know, stressed and trying to get everything done, then things like that just fall to the back burner. And I was getting annoyed because I pay to go. I pay my monthly subscription to the gym which isn't cheap. So I was going to give up and I thought, no, don't give up. I, well, I wasn't, I wasn't going to give up. It was just, I did wonder whether I should give up because I wasn't going and I was spending, it's like 33 pounds a month. This is White Witch. 33 pounds a month to have my gym subscription and I, I just wasn't going. So it was kind of, you know, I'm wasting money in not going. So it was, uh, yeah, it was just getting tricky. I didn't really know what to do. But just after New Year, or just after Christmas, I went once and I kind of got the bug again. And then since then, I've been going every other day again. So I've got it back. I've got my passion to go to the gym back. So that's really cool because it was just doing my head in, you know, when you're spending money on something, you're not actually using the facilities. It's really stupid because at the place I go to I can use the pool and I can use the health suite which is you know includes the sauna and jacuzzi if I want to everything there's also lessons I could go to like um, fitness classes I mean I don't do that I just go and do my own thing at the gym but if I want to I can and it's all in the price so it just makes sense to keep it going just for that alone because you get the use of the whole centre and we it's like new, our centre in town is like a new one so it's really really nice and it gives me what I need to feel good about myself and that I'm doing something with myself and not being unfit and unhealthy all the time you know I like to eat sweet foods <laughs> But I don't want to feel too guilty when I do eat sweet food, so it's kind of nice to be able to still do that when I go to the gym. I can afford to do it, you know, I can afford for my body to eat fat. <laughs> I'm just checking. So, I don't want to feel guilty and I don't want to get fat and I don't like the look of my body when I'm not going. It's kind of, you know, it's not a vanity thing, it's just 
Well, it is. It is a vanity thing. Of course it is. Everybody that goes to the gym is trying to improve the way that they look, but also the way they feel. And I have like a scoliosis, which is a curve in my spine, so it really helps for me to go. Because when I don't go, I feel pain. And I mean like severe pain. I can't get out of bed sometimes properly or it's not completely debilitating, but it's bad enough that I feel like I could cry sometimes, the pain gets so bad. So it's the reason I started to go as well as trying to get my body to look a different, you know, look a bit better. As you age, obviously you need to put in a bit more effort. So yeah, I'm back at the gym now. And I'll be going in the morning, so I'm doing pretty good. Right, that's all that then. And you can see me stamp these if you like. I'll do a few. So yeah, I'm happy. It's all good. Everything will be all right. <laughs> and yeah. So this is my ghetto soap stamp. This is like an old, I think it's a potato masher, and I can't remember where I got it, but I, I use this to smash up resins if I'm going to use resin <laughs> in soap. I use it to bash the place to pieces if I feel angry, <laughs> but yeah, it's a, the best tool for stamping soap. So, sorry if you found the first part of the video relaxing. Oh, you can just see some of these that I've done and I will get on and do something else after I've done this so here they are getting stamped they're going to be trimmed up and stuff yet so I'm sorry the video is a bit random I'm just trying to cram in some information there's white witch which will be ready for stamping in a sec so that's that for now I will be back I'm going to do a Taiwan swirl next in a soap and I'm going to use I think green Irish tweed I've got that fragrance that I've had for ages and I need to use it so I'm going to use some new micas I've got which are up here from nurture I've got a hunter green and I've got this khaki yellow that I want to use so hunter green khaki yellow and I might use this Sahara gold we'll see so I've got some new things there I'll just zoom you around so you can see the soap shelf there's some for Valentine's there, some others, Valentine's, Valentine's, Valentine's number 11 I brought back and some new ones down there, that's tobacco caramel there at the bottom, which is curing and then these are just like one bar of each soap left from Christmas and there's some body butter so yeah, that's it really, that's all I've got to show you today but I'll be back and uh, I might film this new soap I'm going to do in a second. Okay, bye.